Tonight's top story, a Shelby County Sheriff's deputy is on the other side of the law. He's accused of attacking his ex-girlfriend, who is, by the way, eight and a half months pregnant. Michael Hort is charged with two counts of aggravated assault. The confrontation happened yesterday in a store where the woman worked on Raleigh LaGrange Road near Sycamore View. Eyewitness News Everywhere reporter Dana Rebick is there at this hour. And Dana, you actually talked to the victim's sister today. What does she say started this big fight? Well, she said that this fight started over their breakup and also custody of their child. Now, it did happen here inside of this Latino marketplace where the victim works. Now, they do have security cameras. You can see the sticker right here. You are being watched by off security. Well, Michael, Michael Horde and part of this confrontation was all caught on their surveillance cameras. <laughs> Edith Rocha says those screams were the sounds of her older sister fighting to get away from this man, Michael Horde. Uh, they were arguing and she's like, I don't want to talk to you. Uh, it's over. He Horde is a Shelby County Sheriff's deputy who Rocha says dated her sister for six months. During that time, she got pregnant. I think I, he, I think he was a very uh, jealous person because if anybody would get near her, he would, you know, be probably asking who's that. And like recently, they've been, uh, she had to change phone numbers and stop because he's been stalking her. He was stalking her recently because the um, she didn't want nothing to do with him. At the time, we're told this woman was inside the store stocking shelves and helping customers when Michael Horde came in right here in this aisle, pushed her back behind this glass counter, and held a gun to her head. He's like, no, I'll end it. And that's when he had took the gun out and put it behind her neck. On this surveillance video, you can see Horde follow the woman behind the counter, then leave the store out the front door. Edith Rocha says she's scared for her sister's life. We don't think she's going to be safe. I mean, he knows her car. He's being, he's talking to her, and uh, we don't, I'm kind of scared for her right now to be wandering by herself. Now, we're told that Michael Horde was arrested at 1 o'clock in the morning. Now, according to the victim's sister, this isn't the first time that he's been abusive. Coming up new on Eyewitness News Everywhere at 6 o'clock, we'll talk more about their stormy relationship. But is the ex-girlfriend, is she okay tonight physically? Well, we were told by her family she is nearly ready to have this baby, that uh, there were some medical issues yesterday, but they don't want us to reve reveal tonight where she is or exactly how she's doing because obviously the nature of this uh, situation. All right. Thanks a lot, Dana. Michael Horde will appear in court on Wednesday. He worked in the Shelby County Sheriff's Office Fugitive Division for 10 years. He has officially been relieved of duty with pay. He's not the only sheriff's deputy arrested on domestic violence charges. Deputy James Tabor is also facing charges. He was charged in Tipton County on aggravated domestic assault for a matter involving his wife and stepdaughter.